Last time on Runaway, we kinda tore open a hole in space and time. Okay. According to Simon's notes, I should concentrate on some point in space to make point B travel there. Now what place should I think about? Planet Tranto? No. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Nope. No way. I don't know where she is. Um, Planet Trantor! I'm not sure whether it exists, but it won't hurt to try. Huh. It doesn't work. Okay, um, let's go to Manhattan! It's been so long since I saw my parents. I think I can hold out a while longer. Well, there's only one choice left. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea to check whether the motorboat is still there and make sure Joshua isn't up to any shenanigans. Well, at least not up to anything that's highly damaging. Neato, I can feel something. I think it's working. Hey, point B disappeared. Well, I'll cross my fingers and hope I don't get beamed into a sewer. <laughs> Wow. Hurry up and finish! Isn't it my turn yet? <laughs> this is amazing. This head's gonna pop out of space somewhere. Ooh, that must hurt. <laughs> Hello? What's happening? Joshua! Why? Someone is attempting to communicate with me via telepathic waves. I can sense you wherever you are, oh unknown being. I'm over here. Look back for a second. No, I'd lose my concentration, and then the telepathic connection would go on the fritz. From what planet, nebula, or cosmic dust bunny do you speak to me, oh being? Oh no, here we go again. It's me, Brian. Hold up, hold up. You are talking to him through a portal in space, and suddenly you're calling him crazy. Do you see the problem here? To your right is a little crazy little boy playing tennis with a monkey. Just let him think he's psychic. Give him this one. He's earned it. Floating head man. Ryan? Since when are you into telepathizing? Actually, I don't know. And if you look back... I thought I noticed something in you. You're not bad for a novice, but your signal is weak. There's a lot of static, as if someone were wringing your neck. Whatever you say, but please, do me a favor and don't move. Because I'll be back for you at any moment, and we'll zoom out of here on the motorboat. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, huh. Let's see. I do want to know this. If we're communicating by telepathy, why are you talking out loud? So you realize, eh? It's a level 15 telepathic technique, really. But don't worry. Forget about it. I teach you, but I don't think you'd even understand level 2. Okay, do you know what amoeba is? Do you know what an amoeba is? Hey, that's what the Trantorians used to pull me out of the ship on the sly. Alpha told me that's the name the Earthling contactors use to call the Trantorian jalopy that drives around space. The initials come from anticellular matter e nuclear bilocator apparatus. Though I don't really get the apparatus part. It's more like being beamed up, but cool and without getting mosquitoes in your teeth. The bad thing is you can only go to places where there's Trantonite, an ultra-powerful material found only in energy stones and Trantorian belts. 
The trick lies in putting all your body cells in a single file line so that they can jettison through space really fast. And then they get put back in order, right where they were. Boggles the mind, huh? Anyway, its inventor, a shifty but intelligent little alien, based his ideas on innovation <laughs> theory and the anticellular petochius, the monoglot of which, on the shimmy scale, is... He left. <laughs> Amazing, but true. If I'm not wigging, I think I've got the ideal escape plan for when I find Gina. God, I couldn't take one more second of Joshua's nonsense. But I doubt he'll take my sudden departure the wrong way. He'll just think the telepathic network flew a fuse. That's amazing. Just completely forgot. It's like, fuck this. Alright, we gotta find Gina. You. I need to find Gina. Monsieur O'Connor. Gotta go, man. Duty is calling. Call me later on Channel 5. At your orders, Professor. Sir! Where is Gina? Are you sure you didn't tell your friend on the walkie-talkie who I am? It was my duty as a fellow soldier, sir. He also sent in the intelligence service application form, but since he can't even read, they won't audition him. The most surprising thing is that you've read anything at all. Professor, yes, sir. Sometimes it makes me dizzy, but the more I read, the less dumb I feel. You don't seem that dumb. I mean, you got some, like, you know, silly dumbness, but not any, like, Dirt-ness. What types of books do you usually like? I forced myself to read the complete works of the Cyrez Corporation, sir. Military Weaponry Catalog 1999, Military Weaponry Catalog 2001, Military Weaponry Catalog 2003, and the most amazing of all, Military Weaponry Catalog 2005. I didn't read them in order, but I still feel I got a good grasp of the literature. Have you read anything that's not about weapons? Of course, sir. Do those fine Wally books count? Not much. What about coloring books? Even less. Why shoot, sir? If you're going to be that particular, you're going to make me look like some kind of moron. You're kind of a moron. <laughs> Why do you want to be a member of the intelligence service? I said so in the application form, sir. I'm the ideal candidate for espionaging tasks. Because nobody would ever suspect I have anything to do with intelligence. That is brilliant logic. Tout bien, miss. Yes, Professor Sir. You're not giving me information after I leave. That sucks. Let's see. Sushi's house? I bet Sushi would do anything to help me. But I don't know what that would be right now. Damn it. Uh, let's try Gina again. Maybe I didn't concentrate hard enough. Let's see if I can do it now. Nope. No way. You know, at least by this point in Runaway was the first Runaway, Gina had made more than one appearance. And what, clothed? She has done less than nothing in this game. She has been replaced. It worked before. Whoa, what the crap were you doing? Joshua, what's going on here? <laughs> Brian, I can't telepathize at this exact moment. I'm operating on a boy. What? Boy? A uh, little demon is a lemur. A lemur? I knew such a smart guy could never be human. Well, it turns out the paddle slipped out of the other guy's hands, flew off, and got stuck in this poor thing's teeth. It was a tragic scene. But luckily, I was on hand. This kid brought me a couple of packages filled with molar repair gadgets. So here I am trying to remove the paddle. Oh, you're familiar with dentistry? Not a thing. But we geniuses take advantage of our inquiring minds. Listen. You go out in the neighborhood and play, and let us pros get down to work. He needs to be banned from entering any wildlife preserves. There was so much illegal about what that was. <laughs> this should not be. 
find something. Um, try and play a Trantor again. I'm not sure whether. Huh. Again. I bet Sushi would do anything. Uh, Gina? Maybe I. Let's see if I. Nope. Didn't think so. Alright, one more time there. No, I don't feel like watching Joshua torture that poor lemur. I'd better wait a while. I can't think of any place worthwhile. You should stop him! That lemur helped you! He's... he's going to die! Tannhauser's gate beyond what's that? Now how would I know where that is? And why is it an option? Let's hope Joshua has completed that advanced paddle removal on Little Demon. Um, okay. And it may sound gross, but it saved my life when the toilet was busy because I'd placed my derriere through the amoeba and into the next toilet over. Unless... Joshua... <laughs> Jeez, don't rush me! I'm finishing already! So anyway, Alpha says that- Wait, just answer one question. Okay! Ah, what a pain in the neck! I hope the monkey's okay. What's CIA 2? Have you heard of the CIA 2? Yeah, I think I've heard something about them. They're a gang of Earthlings who aren't as dumbstruck as most, who keep in touch with Trantor. Did you know the average retarded Trantorian's IQ is 176.8 times love in the first degree? It's actually quite obvious, since you could fit the unplugged version of the Encyclopedia Britannica in one of their big fat heads. Well, as the old scientists with the perpetually bad head they used to say, he needs to be banned from entering any wildlife preserves. I am highly confused by what happened. But I'm not done with him. Get back there. Luana Beach? What's that? Yeah. I could try to speak with the real Pinon and convince- Really? <laughs> but, no. No Pinon, no Lokelani, nothing. Damn. Your head swells like a balloon, but according to another Trantorian's hypothesis, the quarks move onto the plane and shoot out the- Joshua. Jeez, don't rush me! I'm so anyway- Wait. Okay. So I get to say one thing for go, so... Yeah, how did the monkey go? How did Little Demon's operation go? Joshua never messes up, Brian. The paddle removal was a major success. Actually, I hardly even used the molar repair instruments. But I implemented the five-stage botch-up technique and pulled in his silver cord before it snapped. Well, uh, you did what? The poor devil screamed bloody murder. Did you anesthetize him? Not at first, but the guy was shuddering all over the operating table. So we made them drink two bottles of rum. Boy, did the little primate swig that down fast. I get the feeling he's been around the block. His rum goggles got so thick he passed out till the end of the surgery. It takes all kinds. I'm glad he's okay. I guess that... Are you sure he's okay now? Do you doubt my work? That guy's right in the hut, playing with that breath to see who can pull harder on a rope. With their mouths, of course. What's the five stitch? What exactly does the five stitch botch up technique consist of? The five stitch botch up technique is an old Trantorian move. You grab a gadget, nudge it into a strategic location with all five fingers, and after taking five steps away, zoink! The gadget explodes like a bomb! You should have seen it! 
I made that pedal blow to the four winds. Or was it five? Did you lend me the dental instruments you used on Little Demon? I would, but you know how weak my telepathy is when I try to work with material objects. I could never do it, but you're a genius. I bet if you concentrate hard enough and throw the instrument straight up, you'll break the time-space continuum barrier and I'll catch him. I see you're getting to know me. Well, I'll try to make you happy. Which do you want? The probes or the removers? Uh... Probes? Okay, catch! Here they come! Shoot the glove! Chapman even warned me. I find an amazing way out of this camp and my invention gets messed up before I can even use it. Now, at least I got my hands on these dental torture tools, which I plan to take full advantage of. Without a glove, there's no way to open the amoeba. So, I'm basically shafted. Well, the truth is, the points are still there, and they won't disappear till I leave this room. I could escape this minute, but I can't leave without Gina. Ah, uh, forget it. Maybe I can find some other way out. Well, that sucks. Why did you use that hand? You dumbass. Okay, I have this... I guess I can use them on that thing up there? I thought... I, I thought the dentistry thing was like a random joke I found. I actually have to... Let's, let's see. Why not? Since I have no key, I can see how my lockpicking skills are coming along. Okay. Still seems really messed up. Bingo. Thank you for the little window. Whoa. Hello, face. It looks like it's not going up any further. Doesn't seem too hard considering the increase in my skill set throughout this adventure. <laughs> you put your points in climb. Huh. Seems like the archaeologist's budget ran out for lighting in here. Or maybe they just installed the motorized platform right before the soldiers got here. And they didn't even have time to take a trip up here. They found the amoeba. Hey, now... look. It's Humpty Dumpty, the talking egg from Alice in Wonderland. Oh, no. It's just another boring old skeleton crushed by a rock. The way he looks with all that dust. He must have gotten here 50 years ago. A hat? A whip? Well, one thing's obvious. The poor stiff was not a very good archaeologist. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever wear it, but why not? Ah! Holy tarantula as big as a cow! Lucky it didn't move. Take that tarantula. Yeah, getting stung by that tarantula underneath sounds like a real knee slapper. So much so that I won't do it. It would bite you, not sting you. A whip! Take the whip. It's actually in quite good shape. Hope it's luckier to me than it was to him. An arm? You work your fingers to the bone, and what do you get? Bony fingers. Arm wrestle with the guy holding the large ball? I don't think the man would get the joke. <laughs> it must have rolled through the gallery and flattened the poor guy like a postage stamp. Maybe if I can get the hat if I like... Oh, maybe I can duct tape the hat down. I don't see the reason. Oh, try the Ziploc bag. Where'd... Oh, that's it. This bag is so strong, I'd be surprised if the tarantula could gnaw its way out. I still hesitate to put it in my pocket, though. Guess not. You had no problem sticking a monkey 
a living monkey in your pants. Sure, let's see where it leads to. I can't wait for one of those huge rolling balls to appear and smash me up against my hat-wearing friend. I'll have to take it slow. It's pitch black in here. So many references. There seems to be a little light over there. Well, only an optimist would be excited about this much light, so I guess I'll pretend I am one. Where are we? Tarantula! I hear voices. Whoa. Did you come for John Doe's clothing? No, I'll send someone later to take it to the lab. Right now, the scientists are too busy with the trantonites he brought us. Have those dumb items he ordered been delivered? A while ago. As soon as they were taken to him, he put on the soccer uniform, drank two cans of onion soup, and lay down to watch a TV movie. It was quite a disgusting scene. What about Pignon? I didn't want him to see me. He thinks I'm watching him like a hawk through the surveillance camera. It's better this way. I need results, and I don't want him losing focus for a second. Something doesn't add up, Nathan. If what you want is NG-0, why didn't you make dough bring it, instead of those rocks? Trantonites, doll. I wanted our contact to be someone else. But Doe is really just the chef, and it would have created suspicion if he droned around the NG-0. That's why I thought of the Trantonites. Simon said they weren't controlled by any security systems. Some poppycock about how Trantor, its inhabitants, and Trantonite are all the same being. Their existence, therefore, depends on those rock things, which none of them would even think of damaging. Except for Doe, right? These 40 years in the service have taught me the world's full of embittered sourpusses, and it ain't hard to turn them into traitors. Finding Doe was just a matter of time, just like now. Ah! As soon as Pignon activates the amoeba, we'll go in through the NG-0. Without their Trantonite, they'll be so weak we can mow them down. And then... Then what? You'll do as with Doe? You'd betray your own people and act behind the President's back? Negative. I'll protect him from himself. I'll clean things up and get rid of the sissies who are using him. Wimpy hamburger devouring civilians who don't have the balls to grab a machete and cut the bull's head off. What the heck? This country was founded by generals, by soldiers. Calm down, little soldier. I'm with you. As long as you keep paying me what we agreed, that is. Tarantula, I've got some news. We think that spy is around here, in the camp. The signal ain't clear, but we're trying to zero in on him. Damn that two-bit civilian. Mobilize everyone. Let no one sleep until we catch him. Ha! He's walked into the wolf's den. No doubt about it. He's in cahoots with that parachute girl. Gina! So don't repeat the same mistake as this morning. She jumped out over the lake. She had to be eliminated. She should have been captured and interrogated. Well, you can just forget about it. The underwater camera recorded footage of the girl sinking to the lake bottom. She is not talking to anyone anymore. No, it can't be. Gina can't be dead. Another flashback? I'd actually buy this one. This would be a good moment for that. No way. My experience tells me she isn't so easy to get rid of. She got shot by some mafia thugs and managed to escape. And I myself ran over her with my car on accident. <laughs> and once again she escaped the grips of death. She even fell into a really deep well, and she hardly scraped her leg. And now, well, maybe I'm wishing on a star here, but Joshua says that the alien spacecraft is at the bottom of the lake. And considering the way things stand, maybe what he said is true. It seems nuts, but I think my only way out is to help him find Professor Simon. Gina doesn't deserve for me to give up. I'll have to act carefully, however. If I heard things right, they think I'm a spy and they're hot on my trail. And don't mess up again, doll. Don't be afraid of him, my little pretties. The day I grow tired of him, <laughs> you'll see. Oh, you're all so lovely. 
Angelina, Agostina, Andrina, Agrippina, Alexandrina, Alphonsina, and Adelina. You, where is Adelina? Uh, I don't know anyone named Adelina. Amateurs, I stop for one second to speak with a colonel and you lose a 20-inch long tarantula. <sighs> Poor Adelina. It was 13's fault. Hey, I didn't do nothing wrong. 20 inches. Did it. Liar. It was 17. Uh-uh. It was you, for instance. Ugh. Oh. She almost sucked him dry. But she hardly even scratched the dude. I could see it coming. I told you those finely manicured nails contain a paralyzing venom underneath. One. Do you copy? Forget about that food for my pretties. I just came across 180 pounds of feed, but it's too fresh for their weak stomachs. You know what to do. Hey, I thought spiders ate insects. Normally they do, but these have been raised on decomposed flesh. The worse it smells, the better. Silence, or you will be accompanying 17. That's the girl I almost ran into the first time I came into the camp. Who would have guessed she's a grade-A psychopath? I better hurry up and escape through the amoeba, or I may not live to tell this whole story. This must be the Tiki Temple everyone keeps mentioning, though. What I don't get is what the heck that huge metal arena is for. With that circular structure and the size, it almost looks like a coliseum. And it's surrounded by men in black like the ones from before. So something important must be hidden inside. Hmm. Probably that John Doe. I wonder who that guy is. This is all so weird. Okay, Mr. 13 will be my official. Her stage name is a bit weird, but I guess it makes sense now that I've seen her pets. Moron. This we plot got really game. weird and. Everything PG1? Pretty dark. MJD Excellent. 1941. No idea what that means. Be quiet. Looks like he's under Tarantula's command, like the rest. Alexandrina. No, they might Hello, catch me. My Agrippina, behave! Stop biting Quite the impressive. Steam. And thank goodness it doesn't have the mean old face most Tiki's have. You love Seventy. <laughs> they say Tarantula <laughs> venom isn't see. deadly, but why put that theory to the test? Plus, oh, I bet goodness. these have been genetically engineered to become long. more lethal. Twenty inches. Excellent. It looks like it has clothes in it. A uniform, perhaps? Not very discreet, by the way. This may just be a coincidence, but the palms of those gloves remind me of the palms of those catalyzing gloves I wrecked. Alexandrina, oh. hello. With tarantula standing around, I doubt I'd live long enough to try them on. You're famished, oh. Okay, so... No, to do that, I'd have to get closer to the opening. Oh. dinner oh. coming along. Whoa. Excellent. Well, let's How get out of here. Sir, 12.999. Hmm. Clearly, we gotta get this spider and return it. I'm pretty sure he meant like 20 centimeters or something, because 20 inches, my god. I know that they exist. But I want to pretend they don't for right now. This bag is so strong, I'd be surprised. Well, if I do this right, it won't even come in contact with my fingers. Got her. Those holes I made with the probe should keep Adelina from suffocating. Okay. Give the spider to... Of course, the spider will run out, Tarantula will follow it, and I can go grab the glove. Wait, what am I saying? How could I be sure the spider won't make a beeline for the terrarium? Darn, I'd better forget it. Damn it. Hmm. Look through again. It's eye shape.
Have you finished, number one? Yes, Tarantula. I'll take the bits and pieces up to the roof. With all this sun, they should be ready in just a few days. Remember, it has to smell truly vile in order for my pretties to devour it like gluttons. They're just particular that way. And remember, once you find that spy, get everyone looking for Adelina. Yes, ma'am. Tarantula. What? Did you hear that, my pretties? You'll soon get a waft of that pungent odor that drives you mad. And then you'll have a true feast. You'll just have to be patient a little bit longer. No. And if you keep blabbering, I'll sew your mouth shut. They cut the guy up and they're gonna let him rot on the roof? Not a bad plan. But first I have to do something to make sure the spider runs in the opposite direction from Tarantula. How is my little pretty's dinner coming along, one? Well... I'll see you later, one. Guess I gotta go back. It smells fucked up. What's that your legs? Not very muscular, are they? Okay, see, spiders, they like stinky smells. That's a bag. The strap is caught under that big ball. I don't know if I could get it out of there. But it's such an antique, it's probably useless anyway. What I will do is search inside to find something special. Hmm, a bottle full of dust. Let's read the pretty label. Stench is all, cause everybody hates snakes. Sounds like a home <laughs> consumer club special. Let's read on. Genuine miraculous stench is all, with a formula based on the age-old recipe created by legendary Dr. Jimmy Snake Slayer Canyon. The enhanced formula contains 13% more anhydric sulfur and sulfuric acid, potent noxious odor stabilizers. Therefore, the pestilence from just one bottle of genuine Stenchazol keeps your home free of reptile invaders for weeks on end. Purchase now to obtain the vermin repellent recommended by the Royal Agglomeration of Adventure Seekers and the Kensington Shure Homemakers Union, not available in shops. Warning, once open, do not breathe at a distance of under 100 feet. Extremely malodorous vapors may cause irreversible damage to some user's olfactory glands. Well, that's weird. Huh. Can I throw that through the window? Throw it. This is no time for target practice. Get through the opening and throw it. That doesn't. Since we're all wearing uniforms and goggles, I can. This is no tarantula. If I tell her I'm 37. Okay. Hmm. Guess I gotta put this somewhere else. To lure the spike. I guess it's pretty close. I don't know. Oh. Well. Hey, I'm sticking with number 13. Screw superstitions. Cool, but it's funny. Did you know you're the 13th guy to be called 13? <laughs> I like their commentary. What happened to the other 12, if I may ask? Yeah. Great idea. If I put the bottle in the right spot, I can get that aromatic rotten beef smell to drift over to the Tiki Temple. You saw what happened to 17. Oh god, I have to ask Tarantula to switch I won't be me. able to get beyond this point without being caught. Okay, I'll open the bottle and hide it inside this crack. Crap! Typical. That's what the other 12 did. Okay, forget I said anything. This bottle's so old, I can twist it open. I'll have to put the creative juices to work. I can't open the bottle? Duct tape it. That won't do any good. Uh, whip it. I don't think that's a good plan. Um, these. Yeah. Okay. That one on the right will help me get some leverage to twist off the lid. Oh man, disgusting. For once, an advertising slogan that doesn't lie. This could raise the dead. If I hadn't closed the lid right away, it would have knocked me out. I've been like several of these. Alright, do it. So now that I managed to open that thing, it's time to put my plan to the test. 
Mind if I take number 17? You opportunistic parasite. Can't you even wait for him to be devoured by the spiders? <laughs> Perfect. Nobody saw me. Hey, what's that stench? It's revolting. <laughs> yeah. If you even hint it was me, I'll pound you on the head. Hilarious. The smell made it all the way to the temple. It's working. Good. All right, that'll lure, that'll lure the spider. So I gotta go back up here. Spider, go in mouth. Sure, that plan should work. And Adelina will run in the right direction. Even I can smell where that icky stench is all is emanating from. Let's just cross our fingers and hope everything works out. I just want to bet 13 steps on Adelina. Come on, Adelina. Use that keen sense of smell and head for that aromatic delight. And then this will end very, very poorly for him. Hey, a spider! Adelina! Stop her! Yikes! She crawled into that hole! Move out of my way, you amateurs! Now's the time. I better hurry if I don't want those goons to catch me down there. Get the glove! Adelina, my lovely... The right glove is the one I want. Good. Now, wait, I heard something. It's Quartzmeyer. Trangela, is Pignon here? No. What's got your gun all cocked, soldier boy? You're not jealous of a scientist. Pipe down. It was that damn spy disguised as Pignon. He messed up the security camera and escaped. What spy? I thought his face looked familiar. Of course. Now it makes sense. A while back, my men told me that the spy was here inside the ruins, according to the signal. I couldn't imagine such a system breach, so I told him to fix the locator system. So, if he's not in here, he must be in the other room. Come on, doll. Let's go swat him. Damn, they caught me. <laughs> you look like the eye. Wait, my twin. Oh. Action. Finally, I get a piece of the action. Uh, talk about bad luck. Right when I get the glove to escape, they find me out. If only I knew what that locator was made of, and how they managed to find me. Anyway, I have to get my neck out of here before it's run. Let's see, it's probably the ring. Yeah, I'm gonna... Or that. Oh, just marble carrying case. Now you know it's not a neuralizer. Can I take the hat yet? No, the hair on tarantula is an irritant. And they say it itches like the devil. I'll buy that. My men have combed the room, and he's nowhere to be found. He must be hiding. Then we'll stand guard till he comes to the surface. Did you hear me, you infiltrator? You're surrounded. Darn It'll be impossible for me to get to the amoeba like this. They'll probably spot me if I lower the platform, and I'm certainly not going to be able to get down using it without being seen. Hey, better not move till I come up again? with a bright idea. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's an ear, a horn, or up, both at the same time. Now, you don't think I was going to honor that promise to Maybe you. he was being up, here from Spain. I heard the Spaniards have an age-old tradition of pulling on your ears for your birthday. That idea is not good. Did you hear me, you infiltrator? You're surrounded. No. I hope they don't I notice it's gone up now, and they'll already. find me out. It's pretty obvious it's up there. I need to kill that someone already. That idea is not good. Let's see. The smell is already up here, so... Whip! That won't do any... Hmm, I don't know what that might result in. I yeah, I think that might work. Someone already. But who cares? <laughs> hey, who are we looking for again? Now, you don't think I was going to honor that promise, do you? Um... The strap is caught under... I think there's anything else in there. Before, it seems to me that just the bottle was there, but I'll check again. It's empty. Good. 
Not that the poor guy's gonna need it, but I should leave it there for just moral reasons. Bullshit! When have you ever really cared about dead people? Oh, there's this here. Walkie talkie! Yeah, not a bad idea. Maybe I can overhear the info I need to escape. I gotta hurry and keep those men in black from seeing me. Yoink! I think that wheel-like thing next to the antenna is used to change the channel. Unless it's a walkie canteen, which I've also seen on the market. Better not be. The battery isn't fully charged, but hey, at least it's not dead. True. Alright. All this waiting is making I need to kill someone already. Calm down, doll. He'll come out. Grim. Did you hear me? You in That idea is... You're surrounded. Damn it. Yeah, I think that might... I care. Can't use it on this one. That might be good. If I use it a la Indiana Jones, I could swing to that outcropping on the wall and make my way down to the amoeba room. Though, it would be in cadaver up, form, since they're sure to see me jumping. Hey, wait. If I remember right, O'Connor said he would be on Channel 5. If I call him on the walkie-talkie and get him confused enough, maybe he could do the distracting. It's a little convoluted, but it can't hurt to try. No shit! That one's like not even a hoop. Why would I? Why would you think to use the whip on that one? Oh, Connor, do you copy? Gosh, Caddy, you are one royal pain. Soldier O'Connor, it's me, Colonel Basco, your intelligence service examiner. Oh, sorry, sir. I thought you were a moron. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I just wanted to say you passed all of the test stages satisfactorily, except the most important one. Oh man. I met this moron friend of mine, sir. Just listen. You are to enter into the ruins screaming. My colonel, Professor Pignon, has run off toward the lake. I'll hop to it, my colonel. Run, soldier, run! Where in Tarnation's he gone? Calm down, Nathan. He'll turn up sooner or later. Pignon has run to the lake, my colonel! Follow me. Down we go. Damn. Impressive, man. Wait. I heard something. Come on. Come on. Come on. Run, Joshua. Hey, what's the big rush? Joshua! Hold on tight! Now we're running away. It's about time. Wow. Stop! So where does Simon live? Alaska! Alaska? They're getting away, my lady. I'm real sorry. You won't be for long. Damn. 